Hey guys! In this video we're making a simple sliding knot bracelet with a square knot as the sliding mechanism so that you can adjust your bracelet bigger and smaller and a beautiful glass bead in the centre which is held in place by two barrel knots. For the bead you do need something with a big enough hole in the centre to fit your thread inside. I found these beautiful necklaces at an op shop so I'm going to use one of these glass beads today. So I've got my bead here which has a 2mm hole and then we need 55cm of 2mm satin nylon cord. To start with we want to find the middle so I'm just going to place my bead on to the thread and then place the ends together and follow it back down to the other end. Then we need to try and hold our bead in place here so I'm just going to grab it with my left hand and holding my left index finger sort of underneath the bead here and holding that thread tight as well we're just going to wrap this thread around our finger three times. Wrapping it as close as we can to the bead to make three full loops around and then we can gently remove these three loops off our finger and with this tail end piece we're going to turn that around and poke it down all three of those loops Pulling it out the other side and gently work that knot nice and tight. Now you can slide that bead up against that nice tight knot and we're going to swap onto the opposite side, holding it again nice and secure in our left hand with our left index finger there. We can bring this cord around our finger three times to form three full loops around, right next to the bead there. Then we can gently remove these three loops off our finger and with this end piece turn that around and poke it down all three of the loops. Pulling it out the other side and then we're going to work this knot down slowly and gently so that we can position it right up against the bead here and hold that bead nice and snug and secure. Gently working your barrel knot down nice and tight up next to the bead and then you can pull it really nice and tight. Now we can move on to the sliding knot part of our bracelet. So we lay it down on a table with the cords overlapping. I work with the overlapped parts on the right hand side here. And then for our square knot we need about 35 centimeters of our 2 millimeter satin nylon cord. And I just cut and singe the ends so it doesn't fray. Now onto our square knot. So just with our little piece of cord that we've cut, we're going to place it underneath those overlapped cords on our bracelet. Now we can start with the left side. So bringing it over the top of those cords, leaving a little loop there. And then with this right hand side cord, we bring it down over that other cord and then pass it underneath all the other cords to come up that little loop on the left hand side. Pull our threads nice and tight and we alternate each stitch. So we started on the left, so this next one will be on the right. So bringing that right cord around and over top, leaving a little loop there and then this left cord comes down over and then under all the other cords to come up that loop on the right hand side. Then we can pull them nice and tight and with alternating stitches we're back onto the left hand side again. So bringing that left cord around over the top, leaving that little loop there, then the right cord comes down over and then passing it underneath all the cords to come up that loop on the left hand side. Pulling them nice and tight. Then back to the right hand side again, bringing it around. Left side cord goes down over and then under all the other cords to come up that loop on the opposite side. It's up to you how many stitches you do on these square knots or how long you want your square knot to be. I usually do about 8 or 10, it depends on how much thread you've got there, but as long as you alternate each stitch you'll have a nice flat square knot. 
So just keep going until you're happy with the length of your square knot, making sure to pull the thread nice and tight in between each stitch. Once you're happy with the square knot size, we're going to cut these little tails off on the side. I cut them off quite close, but just with a little bit, like a couple of mil there on the cord, and then melt each side. So you want a little bit there to actually melt. I melt it and then actually push it with my lighter so it fuses onto the knot. Just be a little bit careful that you don't fuse the knot onto the sliding parts of the bracelet. Just melting a little bit of this knot together so that the ends are fused and they won't come undone. Now all you need to do is figure out the size of your bracelet. So you want to make sure that that little sliding square knot is sitting right in the middle and that your bracelet is the right size for what you're wanting it for, so you can try it on. And then we're going to make sure that these ends are nice and even on each side. So basically just put the bracelet to the size that you want it, with the knot in the centre. Then we're going to tie a little knot on each side, leaving a little bit of length on each side so that it can slide into the sliding knot and making sure each knot is even on each side. Then we can cut the little ends off, singe them with a lighter, and you've got a perfect little sliding knot bracelet with a square knot and a centre bead.